The animal cruelty case against National Assembly Speaker Balek Otandi Modise rather, has been postponed to April. Modise was charged after the NSPCA found she neglected animals at her northwest farm in 2014. AFRI Forum's advocate Harry Nell is privately prosecuting Modise on behalf of the NSPCA. Man Ngoba Mkunu is following the story for us. He joins us now live. So the defense in the matter is now gunning for a political motive here. What are they saying? Well, certainly, Shahal, and this is not the first time that we've heard these claims. Of course, you remember that yesterday we did speak to some of Tani Mudisa's supporters who also made it quite clear that these were simply trumped-up charges and that there was a political motive behind this case. And, of course, we heard that from Advocate Dalim Pofu himself here in court when he did, in fact, indicate to the court that they are going to argue at the end of the trial that this case is politically motivated and that uh, Afri Forum is simply using this case case to try and gain political experience. In fact, this emerged during one of the testimonies of one of the witnesses, a local editor who, of course, was testifying on what he saw at Tanimo Disa's farm when he visited in 2014. He was a reporter that was called to report on this matter. And uh, one of the questions that Dalimpo had raised to him is whether or not they had received this tip-off from a DA counselor. Of course, uh, uh, Dustin went off with Wentovich agreeing uh, to that, uh, Shahan saying that in fact they had been called by a DA counselor. But the second question that Dalimpofu also asked was whether or not uh, it was clear that there was a political motive given the fact that this was an issue against a speaker and a member of the ANC being brought by the DA, to which, of course, he also conceded. But also we did hear the issue of a political motive straightforward this time, also arising during the testimony of a veterinarian who was called to the stand. The defense objecting to him, uh, uh, giving his testimony today, saying that it was not informed on, on time that an expert was going to be called. But then Dalimpofu going again and saying that he does believe that, uh, in fact, this is a frivolous case. It's a political stunt by Afri Forum to try and gain traction. And so he says that they'll argue to the effect that, in fact, this case has an ulterior motive. Let's take a listen to what you have to say in court. We are going to, at the right time, not now, we are going to argue that this entire exercise is malafide, is uh, ill-founded, and is motivated by ulterior purposes, which ulterior purposes political uh, uh, intention to embarrass uh, the accused. So what then is Tandi Modise saying? Well, Tandi Modise Shahan would not say much on her defense. In fact, we did pose a question as to whether she does believe that the matter is politically motivated, but uh, she chose not to answer on that one, Shahan, saying that she will rather not, she will rather give her side of the story when she does take the stand in her trial. But what she was prepared to say is that she's uh, willing to actually go to the stand to give her side of the story and saying that uh, she has been tortured by Afri Forum for the past six years and uh, even making uh, some sort of sentiments to the tune that they've been using her name to try and uh, make up some money and to try and, gain, uh, and, and, and get funds for that uh, lobby group. So these are also similar sentiments as to a political uh, motive behind it, but she was not quite clear or quite straightforward as to actually say it to us that she believes that this is the case. But just take a listen, Sean, to what her answer was. After six years of being tortured, of family being displaced, of being maligned, of my name being used to fundraise for the Afri Forum, yes, I'm looking forward to take the stand. But that's Thank all you. I have to say. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you.